All right guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. This is gonna be a fun video. We're gonna talk about things that you need to make sure you keep in your life. So I got a bouncy ball here. We are just going to sit ourselves down and let's get to it. So let's get to the six things. So number one, make sure you never lose your health. That includes eating right and working out. Med students are notorious for sleeping unhealthy hours, um, eating terrible food, and also just not going to the gym enough or taking care of themselves by running, exercising, and so we gain weight or we lose weight but we lose muscle and we just don't look as ideal and handsome or beautiful as we were when on our med school application. So take that as a notice that you want to make sure that your health is always optimal. Um, so getting enough sleep, making sure that you have workouts scheduled in um, to your, your life. Um, I'll link down below one of the videos on showing how I stay productive, how I make sure a workout is always scheduled into my days, and um, making sure that you're eating the right meals. So uh, having your kitchen and your uh, fridge stocked in uh, with you know veggies, um, water, and avoiding all the junk food and the crap that's just gonna make you crash. Um, and over time, it's gonna make you very unhealthy. So make sure that you never lose sight of your own health. You can't be a proponent and advocate for people's health if you can't take care of your own. So remember that is a very important key to take care of your patients, you first have to take care of yourself. So number two, do not lose sight of your support system. I don't really understand this one. I'm gonna move around and talk don't really understand this, you would think that in a time where you would need people the most, where you're stressed out, for, for some reason, I think it's mainly the time obligation, we start to shun the people that support us the most. So we don't talk to our parents enough, we don't talk to our significant others enough, or at least open enough, and uh, we're kind of enclosed in our textbooks, sometimes literally, sometimes figuratively. Uh, med school really starts to overwhelm and encompass everything in our lives. So don't lose your support system because you will need them. You'll need them multiple times and they'll be there and they'll get better at being there for you if you continue to rely on them. So your parents, make sure you give them a call more than just like once a month. Uh, <laughs> make sure you know, you're know you talking to your siblings, your best friends from home, people that are not in your medical community um, but are still in your community. So make sure you don't lose your support system. So number three is a big one for me. Do not lose your hobbies. If you love reading, if you love watching movies, you love hiking, um, rock climbing, whatever it may be, make sure that those top hobbies are still part of your life. You may not be able to do them as much as you used to, but don't say something like, oh man, I wish, you know, it's been so long since I've done that. If it's something you love, make sure that you find time for it. Um, you can always take out a few hours of studying. They probably won't change your grade as much as you think they would, but you will be much more happier by including um, those hobbies and uh, passions of your life. So don't lose those things of you that make you you just to become um, a more successful version of you know your medical self. The final three are some of my favorites. Make sure you never lose a day off. Uh, it sounds weird. Basically saying, make sure you take a day off. Um, don't be a med student, you know, uh, seven days a week, 365 days a year, um, 52 weeks or whatever. Um, make sure you have a day off. It can be scheduled, it can be spontaneous, but don't let medicine encompass your life. It is going to be your occupation. Hopefully you love it because then it'll be an easier occupation, but you still have aspects of your life that you need to enjoy. Thus, you need to make time for. It goes back to my first point. You need to make sure you're taking care of your health. So if you're spending your time in a chair, in textbooks, you are both going to have migraines and headaches back pain, and overall just an unsatisfactory life. So make sure at least one day off a week, so don't lose that. And the final two things are probably the most important, so make sure you, you listen up here. Number five, make sure you don't lose humility. You are a very successful person. If you're even considering this route, you have done well in life up to this point, education-wise for sure. It is very easy to start building your ego up. Um, don't let it happen. Make sure that you are humble and you use humility throughout your life. You are going to be a provider of service to people in need. And so you can not have your ego overtake what you're about to do. Make sure you're humble in every 
aspect. When you're studying, you understand you are not the smartest person in the room. You always have something to learn from, from every single person above and below you on a hierarchy chain and make sure that you are not satisfied of the person that you are today. You can always become a better med student. You can always become a better person outside of medicine. So use humility throughout all aspects of medicine. Um, it's gonna help you go through your medical journey with a lot more sanity. Now, the last one is kind of similar, but make sure you never lose the sight of what this was all for. There was a person inside of you a while ago, maybe recently, that discovered your passion and interest to go into medicine and you're deciding to pursue the field. As you get further and further along, even to the point where I am, where I'm applying to residency, you kind of lose that person and you wanna make sure you don't. It's very easy for the studying, the long hours, the commitments, the stress, and the compromises and sacrifices that you make on medicine in your medical journey to start peeling away from that person. And it does identify your true interest in medicine. That's okay, um, that's normal, but make sure you don't lose that optimistic person that saw medicine in a very bright light before you were kind of tainted by some of the rough experiences that you just have to go through. You have to go through the long hours of studying and the busy rotations and then the, the tough uh, board exams. That's just part of it, but we all get through it. Um, the people before me did it and I was able to as well and you're going to as well. So just understand that you don't lose sight of what this was all for. Think about your goals. Why are you becoming a physician? Who are you doing it for? Sometimes we don't always do it for ourselves. There are other people that we would like to also achieve this goal for. Um, that's okay as long as it's also your goal. All right guys, so hopefully this video is helpful. I'm gonna quickly review the top six. So don't lose sight of your own health before you start helping other people in their own lives. Don't lose your support system. You need them. You need them, so continue to rely on them, especially when in this time where you need them the most. Your hobbies need to stay a part of your life, so find time and creative venues to make sure that they are still as important as part of your life as they've ever been. Try to always take a day off a week. And then finally, this last two, which are most important, never lose your humility and never ever lose a sight of why this whole process began. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, comment down below with other things that you think that all should, should be on this list of things you should never ever lose when you're on your medical journey. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm appreciative of you making it to the very end, um, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.